Alone you go fast, together you go far. Cycling isn't just a sport, it's a community. Most of my rides have been solo, and I find it more relaxing in the sense that you're with your own thoughts and at your own pace. However, being in a group is really different. You're going up a hill, and you have the support of other riders pushing you on with encouragement, saying, keep pedaling, we're almost at the top. I love when riding in a group. People are looking out for you, and you're doing the same for them, which builds an unbelievable amount of trust. The best part of cycling is finding new paths and exploring new miles. For cycling, you can bike all day, but you can't swim all day. You can't run all day, but it's the best one to do for a full day or long distance. And even if you're on a bike all day, you can still get off and be fine, which was a big thing for me, because it's hard with a lot of other cardio sports to be able to sustain yourself, but biking, on the other hand, is the one that you can sustain the longest. The speed of which we ride is the best pace to see the world. Biking is a very accessible sport, so you can ride with people of all different levels, and it's really easy to tune where they're at. Whereas running is a lot harder to keep pace with someone who's faster than you or slower than you. But on a bike, that obstacle is kind of taken away. And it's a very like conversational sport. You're riding next to people the whole time. So you get to kind of talk to them and have a conversation throughout the ride. It's not just about the ride, it's also about engaging with your surroundings. On a bike, you get to take the back roads that you wouldn't normally take in a car. And that's where you create the memories that last way beyond the ride. 